Good morning. Welcome to St. William's, where I'm celebrating Mass this morning for the repose of the soul of one of the deacons of our diocese, Deacon Neil Bailey, who died um, of the COVID virus recently. Pray for the repose of his soul. We pray for his wife and daughter, and all in the community in Doncaster, where Neil lived and served, are mourning his death. May he rest in peace. Greater love has no one, Jesus tells us in the Gospel today, than to lay down their life for their friend. Jesus not only told us that, but Jesus put that into action most wonderfully and powerfully on the cross. When Jesus laid down his life uh, for his friends, and his friends, he tells us in the Gospel, are us, I call you friends. I call you friends because, because I have revealed to you who I am, because you believe. You believe that I am truly the Son of God, and you are sons and daughters of God, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ, friends. Yesterday we joined in prayer, and that's a wonderful way we have of expressing our friendship for the Lord to whom we were praying. But it's a wonderful way we have of expressing our friendship for one another, because we did that united with each other throughout the world, all believers, and we were calling upon God to help to bring an end to the COVID virus. We pray for, um, of course, a vaccine. We pray for those who are working for this, and in the meantime, those who are laying down their lives, those who are giving themselves in a wonderful way to serve those who are suffering, but to serve the community, to serve us. And let's ask God to help us, that we too, in whatever way God will enable us to, may lay down our lives, may give of ourselves out of love, love for God, love for each other, love for all who need us. And one of the ways we can do that, even in the confines of our own homes and with all the restrictions, one of the ways we can do this, of course, is through our prayers, through our remembering each other, bringing each other to God in our prayers, and the many people in the world who are suffering, and those who have no one to pray for them. We remember them all as we unite ourselves in prayer today. <laughs> 